Let's take a moment to examine the individual asset of a wind turbine. When one of these goes down, it could take up to a week to get back operational. One day to identify the issue, another day to get someone out there to even start diagnosing the issue, two days to diagnose the issue and identify which part needs to be replaced, two more days to get that part sent out and installed, and another day to get the device operational again. And when you scale that out to 10,000 or 50,000 wind turbines across a fleet or a variety of fleets, this can be a pretty serious problem. Here we're looking at a PyVision dashboard. We can quickly look at things such as power generation for the individual asset to understand how it's performing on a daily basis or hourly basis. We can quickly check how it looks on the performance curve to identify that the asset is performing as expected. Should it be outside this line or outside one of the bounds, perhaps that's an indicator of an issue. We can also quickly look at the gearbox vibration and even uh, minute to minute or hourly average. When you look at this, it's actually quite noisy data, so it can be a little hard to parse just by visually inspecting it. The key there is actually running analytics of the vibration data, so you can identify similar patterns in the past. For example, perhaps a certain vibration occurred when it was about to fail. So you plug that into an an uh, analytic that can then be run over time and identify when such issues are occurring again. So here you look and see a series of states for each individual component within the wind turbine. A green state indicating that it's healthy, vibration patterns are running as expected, or yellow or red states, such as what we see for the bearing, where we might be identifying vibration patterns where the bearing is out of whack, or perhaps entering a state of, you know, warning, it's time to check this. And by doing so, we're able to then reduce that seven day downtime down to one or two days by actually identifying an issue ahead of time before failure occurs replacing the component or fixing the issue and then getting the asset back on its way again.